Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. I thought I'd give you guys a quick update on me GQ build. Haven't made a heck of a lot of progress since I decided to go down this route. Um, but I've got a plan, so that's the main thing. So, she's gonna be bigger than Ben Hur. I started writing this down and then, yeah, she got pretty full on. But to start with, we're starting with this, this girl. She's a pretty tidy 97 uh, GQ body. Uh, was an RD28, but the running gear's all gone. So, old mate took the engine gearbox and four sixes out of it. Anyway, we've got another donor car over there. There she is. The old Maverick um, that had a pretty tidy TD42 silver top. Um, so we're chucking that in. So the running gear's coming out of that girl. So, just a factory GU turbo there. Um, so it's starting to come together. Slowly putting it together. Might do another vid on the connections because I've come a cropper like most people do. Not having the right fittings. Um, particularly for coolant supply there and oil supply down there. The kit I got didn't have the right stuff. But she's slowly getting, there, getting some parts on there. Um, it's got an, I've got an 11 mil pump. Thanks Bisho for the build. So 11 mil boost compensator pump built by a local bloke up here in Victoria. So that's the aim is to run probably 17 pound max out this turbo and just crank some fuel into it. Um, got a HBD top mount going in. So there's some new gear over there. Um, yeah, proper big top mount intercooler. It's gonna have a bonnet scoop in here. So that'll be, that'll be pretty fancy for a change. Um, and some patrol part engine mounts. So this being TD into an RD28, or TD anyway, or TV. This is the left hand mount. It's called the race bread. Um, this will just stop your engine mount tearing, like they're renowned for doing. The left hand one always goes when the engine talks up. So that'll stop that. And then I've got the patrol part conversion bracket there, and then just a standard engine mount for that side. Um, there's the old pump, she's gonna come out. Um, and then, so gearbox coming out of the old Maverick. So there's my gearbox gonna go in. Um, and I've got some 63% reduction gears, actually made by Mark's adapters, but sold by a bloke up in Queensland to get some custom made for him. So, got a set in here somewhere. Oh, if it feels like opening, doesn't want to do it. So I'll set of reduction gears in there, some other goodies. Um, all right, so the diffs, well, I've got the GQ, but they're out of that Maverick. Um, so they're 411 centers. Uh, I'm gonna put some ARB front and, air, front and rear air lockers in them, unless I hear otherwise. And I think 2TM are doing an air lock as well now, but I've always wanted an ARB, so I'm gonna probably stick with that. Uh, I'm gonna go, Again, suspension, I've got to sort of talk to the boys at Superior, but my plan was three inch Dobson flexi coils, uh, some Superior long travel shocks, because, you know, why well, have a GQ that doesn't flex? So the main thing is I'm going for flex with this thing. Um, some front arms from Superior, and then, like I said, probably a shitload more from Superior. And then some 35 inch BFG. KM3s, unless one of you guys has a comment, I've, I fell in love with the KM2s, they don't make them anymore. I'm not a huge fan of the KM3s, I've got them on the Miso's car and they're not wearing real well. So if anyone's got another mud tyre that drives well, that is reversible, um, give us a holler. Um, anyway, so the plan was 35 KM3s. Front bars are, she's a bit old now, but it's an Adam Cooley custom bar that was on my mate's car. Um, he's done with his patrol for now. Um, so, gonna do a few mods to this. I'm gonna put some, remove those toe points down there because they fuck my approach angle. And put some new ones just on here in line with the chassis. So, some new recovery points. I've got a, I've got a Sherpa 10,000 pound passable low mount winch going in here. I can go high mount as you can see, but um, yeah, just the money. like. The Sherpa winch is half 
what I'd pay for a standard eye mount. And then I've got some old, or well, brand new, Light Force 240 Blitz. Spotty's gonna go in here, they're like eight and a half inch. These were the shit back in the day, but the sort of technology's moved to LEDs now. So I think they still hold their own. I had them for my old GQ, so I'm gonna chuck them in and see what they look like. Then probably put some driving lights or something down in there as well. Um, you saw before when I was out the back of, this car came with some Black Widow drawers. Black Widow are out of business, but they made a pretty decent um, kit back in the day. Yeah, so there's drawers. Just gonna need a new car for a bit of a tidy up. Then I've got the MSA fridge slide, and I'm gonna redo some of the stuff in here. Um, just tidy up and get rid of all my junk. Uh, what else? ARB fridge, that's standard. There's some pretty good TI leather seats. Oh, very good, in fact. Um, just to go on mark place. So I'm gonna go with them, chuck some seat covers on them. Probably the best leather seats I've seen for a long time. The only damage is there. Other than that, it's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go vinyl floor. So it has got a decent carpet, but there's some holes in it. And I'm just gonna go vinyl floor because, yeah, it's gonna be a tidy car, but at the same time, it's gonna be covered in mud. So I just wanna be able to wash it out easy. And then I'm gonna do a dash mount up there. So I'm gonna put a new, like a pod in up the top there. Haven't really worked out exactly how I'm gonna do that. But I've got a VMS 3DR 10 inch touchscreen, which are pretty cool little 3D maps, just like the VMS stuff, but it's also got uh, Apple CarPlay. So I'm gonna chuck that in for the car play more than anything, so I've got the tunes. Um, and also, I've got a VMS, so it sort of match, matches them both together. Then I've got, just ordered one of the JRP 14 in one gauges. Um, I'll try and fit it in there. A lot of people sneak, sneak them in here. They look a bit yuck, so I'll see if I can fit it in there with the VMS. Depends how, the VMS is a big head unit. Um, so I've got it with the Spartan Wideband O2 sensor for tuning the diesel and obviously Pyro, I think it's version three of the Pyro, they've got a few different versions. And then I'm not gonna rattle off all the gauges, 14 in one, look them up, they're pretty cool piece of kit. Um, I'm going back to the old school JDM, getting the G-Ready Profect digital boost controller. So let's see if I can smooth out the boost. I mean, there's only so much you can do with these old pumps but I'm hoping the boost control will be able to smooth out some of that fueling through the through the curve. And then you probably saw in my draw back there, I've got the ARB dual compressor and then some space down here for more stuff. So let me know what you think, guys. I'll slowly pick away at it. I'll try and do some more vids as I go. But yeah, any advice, let me know. Cheers, guys. See ya.